Hello. We are still in our scatter pollock packet, but now we are on day four talking about mean absolute deviation. What is mean absolute deviation? Mean absolute deviation is the average distance between each data value and the mean of the data set. It's used to check variability. Variability is the spread of values in a data set. Go ahead and pause the video and write down those two definitions. So the steps to find mean absolute deviation. So step one, we're gonna find the mean of the data set. What is it? What does that mean? It means we're gonna add all the numbers and divide by how many numbers there are. Uh, this is also called finding the average. So step one, we find the average or the mean. So I'm actually going to do example one while we're going over the steps. So the table shows the results in a survey that asked seventh grade boys the number of hours in a week they spend playing video games. Determine the mean absolute deviation for the data, round to the nearest hundredth. What does the mean absolute deviation represent the situation. All right, so here is my data set. So these are some seventh grade boys, and these are the number of hours that they played video games. So step one, I'm going to find the mean of the data set. That means I'm gonna take all these numbers here, I'm gonna add them together, and then divide by how many there are. So we're gonna get our calculator out. We're going to go to a calculator screen, and I'm just going to add all these numbers together. So 8 plus 35 plus 22 plus 17 plus 7 plus 12 plus 27 plus 18. So those are all the numbers there. I'm going to add them together. So when I add them together, I get 146. Now, I need to take the 146 and divide by how many numbers there are. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So, I do 146 divided by 8. And our calculator is going to give us a fraction. You just do menu to 1 to convert it to a decimal. So, my mean or my average for this data set is 18.25. That's step one. Step two, we're gonna find the distance from each value to the mean. And what that means by distance is we're gonna subtract numbers from the mean. And we're gonna remember distance is always positive. So, for example, my average is 18.25. So in my calculator, I'm gonna do, I like to extend my table so I can write the distances underneath. So I'm gonna take my average, so 18.25, and I'm gonna subtract eight. So the distance between 18.25 and eight is going to be 10.25. And then I just continue 8.25, which is my mean, subtract the next value in my data set. So I'm subtracting 35. Now I get a negative number, but remember distance is always positive. So the distance between my mean and this data set or this data point is 16.75. Essentially, you're just gonna forget that there's a negative sign there. And then I'm gonna continue to do the same thing with all the other points. I'm gonna take my mean, and I'm gonna subtract 
each number in my data set. So that's step two. Step two, I found the distances from each number in my original data set from my mean. Step three, I'm gonna calculate the mean or the average of those distances. So I'm gonna take all of these numbers that I just found, I'm gonna add them together and then divide by how many they are. So I'm going to take all my distances, so 10.25 plus 16.75 plus 3.75 plus 1.25 plus 11.25 plus 6.25 plus 8.75 plus 0.25 I got 58.5, but I'm not done. I need to now divide by how many there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna take that number and divide it by eight. And I get 7.3125. Now I'm gonna round it to make it look like money. So the mean absolute deviation is 7.31. That means on average, the points in my data set are about 7.31 away from the average.